<coughs> Hello everyone, my name is Kate and welcome back to my channel today. I'm going to be filming another Q&A video. My first ever video was a Q&A, my awkward Q&A vibe. I've had like so many requests saying that they want another Q&A video, get to know me better. So today I'm just going to be answering a few questions which you guys have sent in because this time I kind of do have some more subscribers than I did when I first started. Last time I didn't ask you guys for questions because I knew that I wouldn't get any replies. Please, my family, like, stop talking when I'm filming. I've told them a hundred times. So I asked some people a few questions, like, a week ago or something. People just sent me some questions and I screenshot them. So let's get in with, like, the first kind of question thing. These are just screenshots, by the way, so it doesn't say that I'm typing because that would be awkward as frick. What slash who inspired you to be a YouTuber? Well, one of my main inspirations in life is myself, but obviously I was never a YouTuber. My friends inspired me a lot, so I had lots of people from my friendship group saying, oh my god, you'd be so funny on YouTube. YouTubers who inspired me, Carmen. Salito, Touch Delight, and Elmo Films is a big inspiration to me. He's from Devon as well, and he's now on like hundreds of thousands of subscribers. Even someone from a really small place like Devon can like become big. And she's also sent in a second question, which is how do I get a fun personality like yours? Well, I'd say with the whole personality thing, it's something that you tend to be born with. I was born quite a funny person, but I feel like I've grown more confidence in being funny, but I sat in front of a camera talking to myself about absolutely nothing. I really say to to get a fun personality follow a few new instagram pages follow my instagram that might give you a few good ideas but i think you already follow my instagram but for people who don't follow my instagram it's keeping it kate just around here or here or here somewhere on the screen it will be popped up and yeah i don't really know how you can get a fun personality i guess you're kind of just born with it but your personality is fun lucy next question is from molly caitlin I don't actually know what her surname is but on my snapchat she's called molly caitlin so yeah what is the most funny thing that happened to you well, like, so many funny things have happened to me before that I couldn't really pick one. I say that every day. Something absolutely jokes will happen to me. I'll come back to that. Why are you always lying? So, Jack Thompson has just messaged me saying, what camera do I use? I use the Canon EOS 1100D. Or I use my phone when I'm vlogging because it's, like, quite a big camera. But to be totally honest, I'm pretty sure I've said it in one of my videos before. So, I'm kind of, like, thinking back to myself, like, Jack, you're not as a loyal fan as I thought you were. But, you know, thanks anyway for the question. Right, Noah's just sent me a video snap. So, this is Noah just wanted a quick shout out and Noah just said can I just have a general shout out so there you go shout out to Noah Edmonds I kind of wore like long sleeves today but it is like summer and I'm actually sweating like a pedo in a playground I'm really struggling because I have sweat patches and I feel so insecure but I might have to open a window give me a minute so I have just had to open the window so I'm really sorry if there's really bad background noise but I am sweating in here I'm sweating so I'm sat next to a famous youtuber right now next one is from Georgia Knott who's just said why did you start a YouTube channel? I kind of started a YouTube channel because I was like, why not? Then I was thinking, how funny would it be? Like, if I upload a video, about 10 seconds later, I could laugh about how embarrassing I was. And I could be like, oh my god, what the hell was I? You know what I mean? So I feel like the posting YouTube videos is a really good way of me to just hate on myself. Oh my god, does anyone else have these things? <sighs> Like, what is this, can I just say? I have no idea what it is. It's just attached to my tops. And they just, like, stick out. It's so bad. I am sweating and my hair is so greasy. Who loves greasy hair? So do I. Next one is from Laura, who's said fave year 11s. I feel kind of awkward answering this question because I know that I'm going to leave someone out. But I'll try my best. Obviously, anyone who I signed their shirts of on year 11 leavers day. I'm pretty sure I signed Laura, Kalika... Marnie, Jake, Dan, Noah, Katie. Love all the year 11s at my school. Anyone who like, doesn't go to my school, you won't know who the, any of these people are. Vibe off that. How many times do you dab a day? Well, I tend to have a morning dab and an evening dab. Sometimes I probably do about 364. Oh my god, that's how many in a year. That's crazy. I feel like how many days there's in a year. Probably do about 364 dabs a day. And do I prefer dabbing or whipping? That's a really hard one. I feel like whipping's just a bit more fun you know what i mean it's getting a bit cringe too fair they're both cringe and i'm cringe but do i care no i don't i think i prefer whipping actually i whip a lot more i have daily whips you know how it is next question is from hannah pratt what's it like to be really good at rounders i mean it does feel quite good to be totally honest i'm not actually that good like, i don't know why she's asked this we played like a school like rounders game against her school the other week i batted left-handed because i was like i'm too good right-handed <laughs> no i'm not joking i literally missed every single shot right-handed and i went to bat left-handed smashed it but i got caught out which was kind of annoying but you know ricardo if you could slap a hoe which hoe would you slap me <laughs> i kind of can't answer this like i don't want to get it too beefy probably slap 
<laughs> I have to cut that out. Right, okay, Anna sent another question because I told her that I'd already had that question. How are you managing being a celeb at school? Like, are people chasing you down the corridors and stuff? Well, at school, it's been like kind of like mixed emotions. I've had some random like year eight kids like say, oh my god, you're the one with the YouTube channel. I don't really get like that many people come up to me at school. I get like looks in the corridor quite a bit. I'll hear someone saying, oh my god, it's cute, okay. Next one is from Ella. When is your first meet and greet? Well, this is such a good question because I am going to be bringing out my own merch. I'm going to be making slides, bucket hats and hoodies and they're going to have like inspirational quotes on. So the bucket hat is going to say, no one likes shady beaches. That's like such a good title video. Credits to Loza for thinking of that one. And then I'm probably going to do a meet and greet somewhere close by. I feel like it'll be quite busy and there'll be like millions of people. Like that's the only problem. Is it because I'm such a big talent on YouTube? I feel like so many people would come. I'd have to have my own security guards. It would just be so crazy. Safa sent me in top three Khalid songs. Khalid is this guy here. He's so cool. Oh my god. I went to go and see him in London with my friend Abby. My favourite songs are probably Saved, American Tea and Winter from Tegan. She sent me in saying, if you were a crumb of any food, what would you be and why? <laughs> right then. Crumbs? Uh I hate the word, it makes me want to gag. Crumbs kind of like give me anxiety. They make me want to die. Bread crumbs, bread crumbs don't even get me started on bread crumbs. Oh, that's such a gross question. I'd probably be like a crumb of scone or something. Who slash what would you put into room 101? I don't really know what I'd throw into room 101. I'd probably put myself in. I find myself really annoying. And I know that other people find me really annoying. You're just trying to say that because you don't want to like beef anyone out. And I'm like, I'm not beefing anyone out. I just hate myself more than I hate other people. Annika sent me in saying, what's it like being famous? It's a hard life, you know, like I can't leave the house without being spotted, you know, so I can't even like walk, take my dog for a walk without someone going, oh my god, can you get Kate, please on my shirt, oh my god, sign my forehead, and I'm like, I don't carry pen with me everywhere I go. Then I got one from Maisie underscore Lauren, which is favourite season and why. Planet Earth 2, probably, that's a shout. I think I'm going to end it there. When I say I think I'm going to end it there, I am going to end it there. I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was so boring, like I find it boring to film, it's boring to watch. My life's boring, but get used to it. Smash the frick out of that thumbs up button. Subscribe down below if you're new. Subscribe down below if you're not new. Neither one of us have enjoyed this, but you know. Peace out to the next vid.